In this lesson, we'll go through two examples where Henry's law of solubility applies. The first question reads, what pressure of carbon dioxide is required to keep the carbon dioxide concentration in a bottle of club soda at 0.12 molars at 25 degrees Celsius? Let's start by analyzing Henry's law, the formula. Notice that it is a relationship between the solubility of the gas being equal to a constant times the pressure of that gas. So these two examples, questions one and two, will only require this formula. That being said, we are told the solubility of carbon dioxide, which we can place right into there. We're looking for the pressure, and we can use the constant found in this table for carbon dioxide to be placed into here. So all this is really is rearranging of a formula. Here's what I mean. I'll take 0 0.12 molar is equal to 3.4 times 10 to the power of negative 2 molars per atmosphere multiply to the pressure of CO2. We'll divide both sides by this number. Watch what happens. The molar unit will cancel out, leaving us with atmospheres at the top. So let's use our calculator. 0 0.12 divided by 3.4 times 10 to the power of negative 2, 3.5, and since this is two significant figures and so is that, we should stop writing after this 5. So the pressure is 3.5 atmospheres. Let's move on now to question number 2. Determine the solubility of oxygen in water at 25 degrees exposed to air at one atmosphere. Assume a partial pressure of oxygen at 0.21. So this time they give us the pressure of oxygen and we can find out the constant from this table. It's 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative three. So using the formula, the solubility of oxygen is equal to this number right here, 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative three. And feel free to write down the units they will cancel out eventually, leaving you with molar. Multiply to 0 0.21 atmosphere. Using our calculator really quickly, 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative three times 0 0.21 gives us an answer of 2.73 times 10 to the power of negative four. And to two significant figures, that's 2.7 times 10 to the power of negative four molars. And there you have it. Two examples where we apply Henry's law.